While in Ling's woods, a Mark's camera phone picked up what appears to be a white figure standing by one of the trees. I then inverted the image after I got it onto the computer and you can quite clearly see the figure is a darker black than the rest of the actual surrounding trees that it's next to. And on the original image you can see that it kind of almost gives off its own sort of light. And there was nothing there when we were taking the pictures, however Becky was using the camera at the time, she had a feeling that something was there and took the picture. In this image I've equalised it to try and bring the colours into balance and again the, the image does look like a figure and you can almost see two legs on the figure to the lower part. What's also quite odd is there seems to be some sort of haze almost perfectly round in shape almost emanating from the point of the picture. From the right hand side of the image it's all clear, however over on the left hand side there appears to be some sort of light emanating from the figure in the background. When I posturise the image, whether it's just the trees in the background or noise or interference, but it almost looks like there's a face in blue in the centre of the screen. Here I've zoomed into the actual image and you can kind of see almost a figure like shape to the actual bright light within the middle of the screen. I've outlined where I would see the figure, or how I've sort of drawn around it crudely to, to show the outline of the figure. And again, I kind of made out a face in the background, but you can make out faces in wallpaper and Artex ceilings and whatever you like, so it's probably just my mind sort of like playing tricks on me, but I've outlined a face. You can kind of see it better when I've actually removed the red lines. And it just draws you back to the other face that you can see in blue when it's uh, posturized. So, a little strange, but uh, we have no real explanation to what the actual thing is next to that tree. But with, uh, with only the one image and no successional images, it's hard to say conclusively that this is a paranormal phenomenon or anything other than it's just a, a light glitch.